Welcome to another Ecom Dudes video. Now I'm really excited about this one because today we're actually going to go ahead and talk about this new blog post that was recently released on EcomDudes.com. And if you haven't seen it just yet, what I encourage you to do is make sure you go onto Facebook and when you're on Facebook, just search Ecom Dudes, right? So when you go ahead and head over to, to Ecom Dudes, go and like the page. This is where we announce all of our newest blog posts first. So with that being said, what I want to show you is exactly what you can go ahead and do and what you can learn from this blog post is specifically what we're going to touch on in this video here today, which is the niche research and really diving into it because I believe that this is something that everybody must learn and everybody needs to know right away. So on the very first level that we have over here, okay, this right here, this is exactly what I call the very first layer of our targeting. Now essentially, one of two things happens here. It either allows you to go ahead onto the continuation, which is the research, or what happens is basically you hit a dead end. So if you hit a dead end, for example, if you go into a certain niche, let's say dogs, right? Since there's a passion for dogs, you can go and check if there's other competition inside of your niche. Now, however, if you went ahead and took a look at dogs and realized that there's absolutely no passion, nobody even wants, you know, gets excited about it or loves it or, or really does anything with that particular niche, then what happens there is that you have a potential lover passion and with further research, you're going to realize that you hit a dead end if the results stay consistent, which is definitely what you don't want to ever happen, right? So again, when you're starting off, love and passion is the number one that you want to look out for. Like I said, dogs, tennis, pretty much anything that you can possibly imagine might fall under the love and passion category. However, you need to do your research to make sure that people are passionate about that specific topic. So over here, all right, so let me just dive down. So you can see over here, dog lovers, they're amazingly passionate about their niche, their particular dogs, etc. Tennis players, they love the sport. Race car drivers love the sport as well. However, if you decide to dive into candle glasses, right, whether it's like ceramic candle glasses, it's going to be really hard to find a passionate audience in that particular niche. Now, if you go ahead and search iPhone cases, nobody gets ecstatic about an iPhone case. However, they get ecstatic and really excited when it comes to a design or some type of um, some type of you know case that looks really nice and depicting something that they love, whether it's flowers or a galaxy or a certain type of dog, etc. So again, what you have to keep in mind is that it really depends on the very first level. And like I said, it can potentially lead back to a dead end. Now, what about open market and problem? Well, if there's a problem in the niche that you can solve, let's go ahead and see if there's other competition that offers the solution, love and passion. If there's love and passion in that niche, go ahead and find other people who are going ahead and dominating that market or selling in that market because they realize that there is a love and a passion that can be tapped into. Now, how about an open market? An open market is very broad. Now, an open market, and I linked it right to dead end, is because an open market can potentially lead to a dead end if you don't have it very targeted. Now, listen to an open market. I'm going to tell you very specifically. I had one of my friends here earlier today, and he said to me, you know, Dan, I'm trying to tap into this market, but I don't see how I can do it. And here it is. It's an open market. He was just selling necklaces. Now, look. Every woman in the United States can potentially wear the necklace that he showed me. So I said to him, okay, how about you add a charm onto that necklace that you can micro-target into the niche because you can target love and passion at the same time and then take a look at other competition. So that's how we're pivoting. But open markets can be very, very good if you mix it with love and passion as well. So like I said, you want to make sure that it's mixed. And let's check for other competition, which is again the next step up. So other competition, very, very, very important. When it comes down to competition, you have to realize that if there's people selling in that niche, in your particular niche, and like I mentioned on the blog post that I really depict it on the blog post, so I highly encourage you to read that, is that if there's people selling in that niche, that's a great sign. That means it's a healthy niche. However, if you have a big passionate niche and no people are selling in it, that means that your competition has already tried it, which also indicates to you and should really be a really, really big indicator that people have gone into the niche, have tried it, and haven't been successful. Right, so again, if there's other competition, then we can move on to the second level, which is going ahead and targeting. So when we're going ahead and targeting, we're looking at two different locations, whether it's Facebook ads or Instagram influencers. Now here's the thing, ready? 
I love if I can find a targeting interest for both and an Instagram account with influencers for, you know, for my niche. However, if I can only find one, that's still fine. We need to follow the chart. If there's a Facebook ad audience, we want to make sure it's anywhere from 500,000 to 1.2 million. Now, 1.2 million is pretty big. So I'm going with the fact that I think everybody's going with an open market. If you want to hit ideal numbers, anywhere from 75,000 to 500,000 is ideal. But I have to keep in mind that people do follow the open market pattern and want to tap into it. So 500,000 to 1.2 million is a good audience size to tap into. However, 75,000 up to 500,000 is ideal for what you want to be doing if you're targeting niche specific. So again, if you have an audience to target on Facebook, go ahead and target Instagram. Pretty simple. So if the engagement is good on Instagram, check AliExpress. If your audience is good on Facebook, check AliExpress. Let's see if you can go ahead and find products. If you can find products to outsource, you start a store and you get right into it and start advertising. However, if there's no products on AliExpress, you want to take a look at print on demand options. All right, so you have Printful, ThreadMeUp, a lot of different print on demand companies that are out there that are phenomenal. But again, what happens if you just can't have print on demand in that specific niche, whether it's trademarked a lot or it's just not easy to go ahead and tap into that niche with print on demand and there's no AliExpress stores. Well, what happens is you want to start over. Go ahead and dive into a new niche. Don't be afraid to do research. The biggest part of this entire system is doing your research and doing it properly. The last thing you ever want to do is dive into a niche without doing this particular research that I outline here for you. So what I encourage you to do is go ahead and check out the ecomdudes.com blog and go and download this specific cheat sheet and follow along. There's other videos that we have inside the ecomdudes academy that outline this way deeper. I even go in and show you live uh, case studies that we go ahead and do together over the shoulder so I can show you as we walk through an entire niche research section. So again, this is part of the cheat sheets that we have inside of the Ecom Dudes Academy and if you're inside of the Ecom Dudes Academy, you already know that it's in there. But for those of you who just want to go ahead and download it, you can go into the ecomdudes.com, go and drag and drop this onto your desktop and save it right away. This is going to help you tremendously when you're going into a brand new niche. I promise you this right now. We do Develop this specifically for our outsourcers and our virtual assistants to go ahead and when we tell them to do new research on a store they go and follow this specific model and then we go ahead and approve it once we go ahead and double check so again this right here that you're looking at is proven to work it's something that I highly suggest that you tap into only because of the fact that this is my go-to is my guide I literally got this created for my personal staff to follow it every single step of the way so again, I want to leave this off right here. Go to ecomdudes.com and I highly encourage you that you go and you actually download this mind map. And if you want to learn more about this in depth, you need to join the Ecom Dudes Academy because again, we go ahead and talk about this way in depth and go over the shoulder and I give you some case studies that you can use as well. So I'm going to end off this video right here. I hope you enjoyed learning about the niche research because again, this is a vital part of your business. Literally, going and creating a store, everything else is super, super easy. Finding influencers, seeing if there's an audience for you to tap into, that's literally the easiest thing that you can possibly do. However, finding the niche and actually pinpointing a problem, finding a lover or a passionate audience inside the niche, and making sure it's a good open market for you to tap into with healthy amount of competition is something that's a little bit more difficult to do. So when you're focusing your time on creating a store, I highly suggest you focus a lot of your energy on research. A lot of people, they go wrong on this particular step of the equation because they're not focusing their time on actually finding out what is going to help them sell. So again, I'm going to leave it off right here. This was the niche research video and I hope you enjoyed it because there's a lot of information in this particular video. But like I said, head over to the Ecom Dudes blog right now at ecomdudes.com and you can go ahead and download this specific mind map for yourself and follow along. And I highly encourage you rewatch this video from the start again or get inside of the Ecom Dudes Academy and really get in depth into the niche research and learn how to do it step by step. And again, this is Dan DeSilva. Thank you so much for coming and watching another Ecom Dudes video. We're just going to keep rolling out amazing content like this. Enjoy your download. Enjoy everything that we're preparing here for you because we're just going to keep going and going and going and rolling it out. So with that being said, it's been my pleasure and I look forward to seeing you in the very next video. 
This is Dan DeSilva, the CEO of Ecom Dudes, and I'll talk to you very soon.